Foundation, I will be the host of the future episodes. So deal with it. Until I quit because of my bossy producer. But anyhow, the format of the show is a bit different now, as you can see. This time around, we want to incorporate more of your opinions. Please send us emails with your thoughts or your vlogs, and we might show you in future episodes. I know you're probably thinking I'm talking too much, so let's start with the news. Since TorrentFreak.com has been talking mostly about the Pirate Bay trial, we will start with the same story and do a little recap of what was happening for the past three weeks. The Pirates arrived to court with their S23K bus, which serves as their press center. All of the defendants pled not guilty. On the second day, half of the charges were already dropped due to shortcomings in the prosecution's evidence. As the days went by, the Pirate Bay's position started to look better and better. And by the end of the trial, I actually think they have a good chance of winning. Well, if you have an opinion on the trial, please send us an email or even better, record yourself with a camcorder that's set up in your bathroom and send us a link. I might show some of your thoughts in the next episode. The verdict's due April 17th. If you have been married for 38 years and do not know how to surprise your wife, do what Roger Wallace did at the Pirate Bay trial. Wallace was questioned on a link between the decline of album sales and file sharing. Wallace told the court that his research has shown there is no relation between the two. When the court asked him how he wanted to be reimbursed for his appearance, Roger told them that he, they could send flowers to his wife. The Pirate Bay supporters quickly rushed to order flowers and chocolates for his wife and sent more than 5,000 US dollars. I wish I got something. Sweet. Cream cheese, thanks. You might remember the story of Jamie Thomas, a single mother of two who has been ordered to pay more than $200,000 to the RIAA for sharing a few MP3 songs online. Well, the judge who heard her case has admitted that he made a mistake and Jamie is going back to court. The trial was supposed to start on March 11th, but has been pushed back to June 15th. So hopefully Jamie will be able to better prepare herself and at the end, spend that 200 grand on her kid's college. Booze has been secretly working on a project, which they refer to on their blog as Secret Project. They hint that they are working on software that would let you watch your downloaded files on your mobile devices, hopefully even stream it to them. We emailed Booze and asked if they could give us some more information, and they told us that they are weeks away from a Booze release, which is focused on getting content from your PC to your TV or mobile. We will keep you updated on this in the future, and yeah, I know I can convert TV shows and put them on my iPhone, but wouldn't it be easier if I didn't have to? And please don't even think of emailing me and telling me that I can buy them on iTunes. I know, and I don't want to. Do you want to make your friends think you are not as big of a geek as you might be? Well, here are a few steps. Step one, tell them that you will not go see the new Star Trek movie because Star Trek is so last century. Step two, you read online that Slumdog Millionaire won the most Oscars but you really just wanted to look at the pictures. Step three, go online, download the movie, watch it while you're half asleep. Step four, go tell your friends that this is the best movie you've seen in years and you really appreciate movies that show other cultures. Well, this is why Slumdog Millionaire suddenly jumped to the most downloaded t movie this week after never making it to top 10 before. Wow, guys, super original. We will also have some tips for you, but I won't be giving them. Stacy will. How's it going, guys? Hi. So, I know most of you know how to do this, but some of you still don't. So here are a few tips on how to download torrents faster. Try downloading your torrents from private trackers. If you don't know any, Google some. Be connectable and make sure you're not firewalled by forwarding the ports. Oops. Yeah, ports and enabling UPnP on your router. Don't use all of your upload and also don't limit your upload too much. Your upload speed should be set around 80% of your maximum upload speed. Hopefully this works for you. Thanks. 
so we are almost done. But before we say goodbye, we promised to give away a free t-shirt, I think about three months ago. That t-shirt goes to Juan Calderon. Now, we have a little different competition for you. Look at the picture on the screen. What I want you to do is write a caption for it. The person who writes the most original and funny caption will get a free t-shirt in the next episode. Until next time, I will make sure I'm back here. You make sure you don't get caught. Stacia, out.